Alright, what's going on guys? I'm going to be going through Cade spots for every single map on Rainbow Six Siege. And I'm going to go through, like, the majority of the bomb sites on each map. So, I'm starting off with Oregon and starting off with the kids and dorm site. The first, the first, like, Cade spots I'll show you is for this uh, master wall, which is probably one of the most important walls on the site. Um, for the first Cade spot, you want to put it in, in master here. If you make a sort of hole in, the, in this, like that, like that. You can put it in there, or you can like put it in one of these ones as well. Just, just any in any of these uh, drawers basically, and that will get the left wall here. And then for the second one, you want to open up this window, this gen window, and then up up on the top left, you'll see like the ledge. You just want to put it underneath the ledge like that. You can get it a little bit better so it doesn't like stick out a little bit, but same works the same either way and gets both the walls and and okay so for laundry the 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 way that i'll use my kids is i'll use one to get these walls and one to get the hatch um generally you'll make a rotate in this wall but what you also like want to do as well is like later on you'll leave you'll leave elbow which is the room the room through here you'll leave this and reinforce it off so it's good to have a cadence for when you do fall back or even if you just or even if you just want to leave it soft like leave, uh, sorry leave it reinforced and don't make a rotate what i'm trying to say is if you want to play the elbow rotate and then reinforce it off but still fall have a kid to fall back on then then you can still do it because as soon as you reinforce the wall it'll automatically get catered so the first one i'll show you is for that for this wall here so all you need to do for this first kid is come to garage here and if you open up the garage door you'll see on the wall these the like, uh, grass if you aim at the left bit of grass here you see there's like one two you aim at the left one and just throw it sort of near the bottom like that you can get it you can get it further into the grass if you line it up a little bit like higher up but it nobody's going to be looking for anything there so it'd be hard for them to find it anyway and this will cave the uh, both of them walls there now for this for this uh, meeting hatch you can either a lot of people just throw them on the hatch or they'll try and throw it in a way that gets both the hatch and this wall here but I don't like to do that because it tends to just ever get like naded from um, from outside blue or something. They may throw a nade in and get it, or like a twitch drone can come in and just see it. So what I like to do is I like to put it on this side of the door here, like just anywhere up there, and this will get the hatch just, and it will be like out of the range of a, of an EMP. Well, at least it impact the EMP depending on where they throw it. They have to kind of know that it's this way and it's this far away from the hatch. If that makes sense. If they try and throw it like on this side or this side, they're not going to get anything with an impact impact the MP. So it's just really strong to put it there, and it's also like in sight. So it's not if if you lose um, if you lose pillar control and you lose uh, electric control, they can't just find it because they have to come into sight to actually be able to shoot it off. All right, so now we're on clubhouse for the CCTV site. There's a couple of different options you can do. Uh, you can ever choose to get the CC wall, or if you have a bandit that wants the bandit trick, you can use the kids for garage and have a cool uh, a safe way of garage and kidding uh, the garage walls. But I'll show you the CC wall first. So you want to reinforce the wall, obviously. And then for the first cage, you want to put it along this wall here. So I'll just put it there, so I can pick it up and show you the next one afterwards. But you can put it higher up if you want to. Um, and it'll be like less out of the range of a nade or something. And then for the second one, a lot of people tend to put it behind this monitor or behind this monitor. Or like anywhere sort of behind these monitors, which I don't like to do because it all all that someone needs to do is come like just shoot them open. And like from this window, they can just shoot them open and see them and shoot it, so it's not really worth it. So what I'll do is I'll come down here, garage, and then just in this roof here, I'll shoot a little hole, and then throw it inside that hole there, and then this will cade the other wall. Now for the catwalk, uh, for the garage, sorry, you can uh, you can cade both of these walls with one cade, and then both of these walls with another cade, and all you need to do to do it is just put the cade above like this, like that, and you'll see the circle. Oh, I put it in the wrong place. Nice, like that. And you'll see the circle goes over both where, where both of the reinforcements will be, and it'll get them both. I'll show you now. Like that, both of these walls are reinforced, and uh, sorry, both of these walls are electrified because of the cave that's up there. And then you can do the same with this one as well, um, by putting it above the wall. So if you just if you want to find the best way, like, the middle of the wall, just ping the wall, and then you can come directly above and put it around about where the ping is, and then you can see them from from above. And that'll, that'll get both the walls if it was reinforced. Alright, so for the basement site, the general way that I like to play Cade is I like to Cade the kitchen hatch, and I also like to trick the motor hatch, the, the bar hatch. So I'll reinforce them both now, and I'll show you what I do with the Cades. So for the kitchen Cade spot, like the kitchen hatch Cade, what I like to do is actually like to do it in kitchen. If you come over to this, uh, this pan thing here, and just shoot it twice, you'll see it move like that, and then you can hide a Cade inside of it. You can place it a bit better, you hide it like there. And then you can't really see it. 
The only way that you'll know it's there is if you actually know like this spot and uh, like like I mean can you can't really see that unless you're like actually staring at it. Um and then for the other hatch, the uh, the motor hatch, I will just cater from below. But I'll show you where I'll put it. Right, so what I like to do with the motor hatch is actually like to trick uh, Cade trick the hatch. So what you want to do is you want to come up here and then you can sort of chill here and throw the cade on the roof. But make sure it's in a place that you can actually still pick it up. Like that. So that'll cade the hatch like this. And you can still pick it up. Um, so what you want to do is you just want to keep it in your hand. Wait until they shoot something on it. Throw it. And then kill whatever's on the hatch. And then you can oh, and then you can pick it up if they have like EMPs or something and then put it back down. And just keep doing this and cade tricking the hatch. And they'll never get the hatch open unless they know how to, to counter it. Um, if you want to know how to counter it, all you have to do is throw two AMPs at the same time. Like, throw one, throw another one, and then it won't, uh, throw one, like, detonate the Habanas and throw another one, basically, is what you have to do to counter it. But yeah. Now for the gym site, this, uh, jacuzzi wall, there's, I like to go a little bit basic with it, um, because generally there's not, there's not many good spots, like, on the, where the wall is, that you can put it that can't just be shot from the window, or twitch drone from the drone hole. There's no, like, good roundabout places up here. So what I do is actually go below and just put it in uh, the bathroom down here. Uh, it's a little bit more, more, a little bit more basic this one, but if you just put it on the back side of this bar like that, um, it will get the it will get the wall. And boom, the wall is electrified. But yeah, so that one's a little bit more basic, but still works. Still clears the wall, and it's like out of the way for where the attackers will be going, unless they're actually going for a, like the main stage push, which is a bit which is a bit out of the ordinary. So yeah. Alright, so we're on consulate now, um, and we're on the top floor of the site. The first key I'm going to show you is for this yellow wall here. And it'll also get this wall as well if you want to reinforce that wall. But I'm not going to do it for the sake of time. All you want to do is come in the bathroom here and just throw it on the floor there, in between the uh, bin and the sinks. And that will get this wall as well as the yellow wall. So yeah. For the other wall, uh, the, the other outside wall over here. Alright, so for this uh, for this meeting room wall, this outside wall over here, uh, what I like to do is I just come over here by the plant pot and I just prone and throw it in there and it will it will get the wall and it will be hidden behind the plant pot for anybody that's top uh, top visa. Alright, so now we're on to the garage site and um, the first wall I'll create is this wall and generally I'll just kind of do it from above because there's not really many good spots that I'll get both the walls down there. Um, so I'll go above into piano and I'll pop one in there. Um, and all I need to do, all I do for this is just go right here by the pool table, make a hole in the floor, and then put it inside that hole there. And then this will go and get both of the walls right downstairs. Like this. One, two, both done. Alright, so for the garage, the the second garage cage spot, I'll put it on this wall here. Um, and to do this I'll kind of shock on this and put it in there. And it will get the wall. Uh, and it's a, it's a little bit more hidden than just putting it on the wall itself, so I just like to do it that way. Okay, so now we're on a bank, and for starting off with this uh, CEO site, the first cage spot I'll show you is for these walls. Um, and all you want to do for this is just go below into tell us. I'll show you right now. Below the wall in tell us, right, right where I'm about to show you, underneath here. Um, generally you can just kind of put it on there, but I like to make a hole and just put them inside the hole, just to make it a little bit more, like, less easy to see, even though, like, they'll see it the same. But yeah, what I'll do is I'll go and cade these ele uh, elevator walls here because it's a really strong position as a defender to hold this elevator. You can like open up this hatch and play with like a shield here and hold this this position down and, and be able to fight here, be able to fight lobby side. So you'll have to reinforce these walls and generally there'll be like a Habana repel here and try and get you out. Um, and obviously to stop against that all you need to do is come below here and just put a cade there like that. And that will get them walls there. I'm not, I haven't reinforced them so you can't see it work, but that, that will that will work. Alright, so now for the basement site of bank. Uh, the first cade I'll show you is for this wall, and the second cade is for the hatch here. So I'm going to start off with this wall in, in CC. The wall that goes into server. Generally, this, this wall is more important to cade than that wall, because this wall is like, the wall that we'll be planning on. So if we can keep that closed for as long as possible, it's just a win-win. Um, and to do this, you can, you can go above into uh, archives, and just place one in archives. Alright, right, where am I going to show you? Right sort of under here, under this um, shelf, and that we'll get that wall on site. You can see there it's electrified. Alright, so for this site hatch here, the um, the hatch in the admin office, all you want to do is come over to this table here, in uh, in the open area, and just throw it, like, kind of hide it in this corner there, and that will get the, the hatch. There you go, as you can see, electrified. 
Um, the good part about doing things like this is like and like hiding them in places where they won't expect it is they'll think, oh, okay, there's something on the hatch, we'll have to go below and like serve and try and get off the hatch, but there's just nothing on the hatch, I'll just be wasting the time, wasting their effort, wasting utility. Um, you just have to be careful, especially for this one, you have to be careful for drones, because a lot of people will leave the drones in an open area, because that's where they're going to try and end up from, maybe this window or something. So just be careful for that. Alright, so now we're on a canal, and I'm going to show you the main, um, the main cage spot for this wall, the, uh, the radar room. So what you want to do for this is just go below into security, into this room here, and it's simply just up in this corner. I like, again, I like to, every time I'm putting one in the floor like this, if it's a soft floor, I like to make a hole in the floor and just put it in the hole, just so it's a little bit, a little bit more hidden. And this will get the main wall, both the main walls here and this wall here. Should have all three of them done with the with one with one kid, which is very cool. Alright, so for the basement side of your canal, um, generally I'll, I'll cade this wall here, um, and to do it I'll, I'll put a cade on sort of the back side of this cabinet, um, and it will get the wall as you can see there. Boom, done. And then I'll also get the hatch as well, and cade the hatch. Now, for the hatch, there's a couple of options you can choose. Um, generally, you can either hide one under this desk here, by like sort of cabinet like that, and that will get the hatch there as you can see. Boom. Or as well, you can come below, back on site. Or, or as well, you can come back on site, and you can um, you can cater by kind of putting it under this table here. But that's a little bit more out of the open. Or you can also do is hide it like that, and then it'll be less less visible from this door, and it will get the hatch as well. So yeah, that's for the basement. Um, now I'm going to go to the next map. Alright, so now we're at a chalet. Um, and for this master master bedroom site, uh, I'll generally just cave this wall. And to do it, I'll put the first one on this um, on top of this cabinet here. Like that. You can kind of hide it behind this uh, fan a bit, like by putting it on the wall. Or I'll just put it like that. And that will get the wall there. Um, but you want to try and make sure it's above this table. So that it doesn't get, um, like, just you can't be shot vertically, like it can't be shot from below, um, and that'll get that'll get one of the walls. And for this second wall, I'll generally just kind of put it up here behind that uh, behind that sort of pillar, and that that will get the other wall. Um, if you if you if you choose to reinforce this wall and make holes in this wall, you can it'll get that wall as well. But my personal preference is to open up this wall and reinforce this wall, so it doesn't like doesn't do anything for me. Like uh, the walls are soft when I play, and I reinforce this wall. But yeah, now I'm gonna go to the basement side. Alright, so for cade spots on the basement, generally I'll use one cade for the snowmobile wall here. Um, so I'll reinforce this wall. And to cade it off, all you need to do is come above here. And you can just cade it right there. It's a little bit out in the open, obviously, if they're taken, uh, taken above. But you kind of want to try and fight it. Uh, you, you, if you have teammates that you coordinate with, you can have teammates sort of roam top floor. And they can help hold this lobby control. Because obviously if you lose copy lobby control you'll lose the, the hatch. Eh, uh, you lose the wall, sorry. But yeah, that'll get both the walls. And you can also sort of play close top here and just keep like re it. Um, and then the next cade spot I'm going to show you is for the uh, the big garage wall. The, the wall that goes over out of the big garage, this wall. Alright, so the, the cade spot for that wall down there. Um, that one that I just showed you is to come up here on the dining. Um, shock on the table here. And just throw it inside like this. And that will get both of the... Uh, both of the walls. Uh, Alright, so now we're on the cafe. Um, and this first wall is that I'm going to show you is the freezer wall in top floor. So you want to reinforce both the walls like this. <coughs> Alright, so now we're on the cafe. Um, and the first wall that I'm going to show you is this freezer wall. Um, generally, you can either put it like this, like high up on the wall so that it's not visible from the sky, like, but it can still get naded or something. So what I generally like to do is I just like to go below into uh, in a reading. And then you want to come to this reading, like the corner up here, and you can just kind of throw it up there, and that will get both of the walls. As you can see, both the walls are done. And then the same goes for this red wall. All you need to do is just drop below, and then just go below the wall, and put it in the floor like that, and that will get the uh, the top red wall as well. Alright, so now we're onto the basement site, um, and generally for this bakery wall here, I'll cater it just by putting it above here like this, just up there there, 
Um, the main sort of attack like avenue that attackers go down for this site is to go play vertically. So if you try and place it above, they're just going to go play vertical on it and, and get it. So what I do is I just put it there so it gets both the walls um, and it's not like vertically accessible. Um, so yeah, it's just an easy, easy kid spot. Alright, so now we're on a border. Um, and for this archives and army site, it used to be that like there was a great spot you could do by putting one above this and put them on in this cupboard. Um, that used to be a, a pro strap like from like, an NA Pro League team, but that actually got nerfed because they moved the um, they moved that cabinet on the right out of the way, so you can't really do that. But what what I generally do for this wall um, is I'll simply just go below and place it below. So all I need all you all you need to do is drop down and come into this uh, supply room over here and just simply go up to the roof up here, right where these uh, pipes are, and just throw it under there. And that will get the armory wall. You see, I got the electro claw deploy thing. That that only comes up when you get when you actually get a wall with them. Yeah, both the walls are electric hard. All right, so for this archives wall here, there's a couple of options you can choose from. You can either just come behind these boxes and place it like that, or like like that. What I mean is place it on the floor like that, so it's hidden behind the boxes. Or you can drop below and then come in the bathroom here. And simply just place it up up on the roof by this light, like that. Boom! That's the archives wall gone. And yeah, now we're gonna go on to the next map. All right, so now we're on to the skyscraper. And for this geisha wall, for the tea room site, this is one of the most important walls to get. You can either go below, um, into delivery and place it, or I'll show you. The, I'll show you my favorite one uh, rather than going below and doing that one. What I like to do is I'll just come over here and place it like over this way, so that's not in the the same room. Um, and because and, generally as a, as a defender you'll be holding down drum so generally it'll say stay alive here because you'll be holding this position down because you want to sort of fight these holes and you want to hold this side of the map so yeah now I'm going to go on to the next site alright so now we're on to the exhibition site and for this one I'll use both of them to get this main wall just because the, the range of the cake claws doesn't get both of them for how I like to put them down so first of all you want to reinforce it off the good thing about this as well is if you want to reinforce this wall on the right and play behind the bar, it'll also get that wall because the first gate goes in this corner here, um, which means it's safe from the the terrace they call door, and it'll get this wall and this wall, and then for the other one you want to just come over here, shock on this table and throw it inside there, like, like not like that, like that, and that will get that wall, um, and it'll be safe within the within the table and be hard to see and hard to, to get out. So yeah, that's 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 for Sketch Gripper. All right, so now we're on a theme park, and for this, what I like to do for this uh, armory site is I like to play with two red uh, wall down aisle. I'll play with Kid and a bandit, and I'll basically tell the bandit that to get both of these two walls, um, so you can like you can switch between getting these two walls and kind of trick them. And what I'll do is I'll kid both of these walls with my uh, with my kids because these walls can get vertically destroyed. So like if you put a kid in the middle of the wall and then put one over one of these walls. So this one will just get destroyed from above. So what I like to do is I'll just put one over here, which can't really get seen from above unless they like know to look for it over here, which is kind of an odd, odd hole for them to make. And the other one I'll put underneath this, underneath this table like that, and that will get the other wall. And that just gets both of these walls without having to worry about getting destroyed vertically. So yeah. If you want to as well, you can make this one harder to get by putting it higher up like this, so it's like going to be less out of their vision, less less in their vision when they're looking at it from vertically. Alright, so the next site we're going to is bunk and daycare. Um, generally, I'll just create these walls, and to do it, I'll go below. Like, like a lot. A general theme is that you'll just want to go below and find a good spot below. That's generally all like inside the room, inside of a box or something. So for this one, I'll just go below and place it kind of up there, like that. Obviously, these are really visible to the people that are running around below. But this site is not very. It's not very common for somebody to be running around thrown when you're attacking this site. So it generally won't like be a problem. It won't. It won't get found basically. And then when I reinforce both of these walls, you'll see that they're both electrocated, electroclawed, So yeah, now we're going to the next site. Secure. Now for the uh, now for the office site, you can ever do the exact same claw for this wall, like the below for the other wall, um, for the the same wall. Or what I sometimes do as well is come over here and get both of these walls. So I'll put one in there, and then one in in here. But it's not. It's also not very common for people to breach this wall into sight, So it, it's kind of up to you. If you know that they're going to go for this kind of push, you can put these claws and do this kind of uh, this kind of defense. So it's kind of it's up to you. 
in your, your best judgement whether you want to do this and use two kids on it. Um, because if you do just put one kid on it, like in the middle, it can't be shot from this from this uh, door here. So it's up to you which one you want to go for, but you can either do these two for this wall or one over there and one somewhere else. Alright, so now we're on a villa um, and we're on the Aviator game site. And the first kid spot I'll show you is for this, um, this wall here. The vault wall. And all you need to do for this one is come behind the vault here. And you can kind of put it so it gets on the wall, stuck behind the vault. Um, and you'll just see it glitch through a little bit there. And uh, this will get the wall and it'll not be sort of, if anyone tries to like twitch throw it on there through the strong hole or anything, it's not visible like that. Alright, so this next case what I'm going to show you for Villa is when you're defending the kitchen site and it's for this pantry wall. All you need to do is come over this, this cabinet, throw it in the cabinet and boom, you'll get the wall. Um, and it'll be like out of the way of anything and out of like hard to spot and hard to shoot at. So yeah. Alright, so now we're on the outback and I'm going to show you a case spot for this double wall here. All you need to do is put the first one in this bed and then put the second one on the back side of this... Um, this sort of cardboard. You can make it a bit easier by throwing it and it'll hide it a little bit better. Um, and this is pretty much hidden from the window. So it's, you can't see it but it's like hard to see if that makes sense. So it'll get both of these walls and it'll be pretty safe and secure. Alright so now we're on to lay um, and for the master office site I'll allocate this wall uh, by putting it below. So you just want to come below over here. When you come below into this medical room it's up on the roof here. You can just kind of put it like that. And that will get both the walls above. As you can see, both the walls are there, electrified. Alright, so that's all the case for this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like, and I'll see you in the next video.